very happy. There you go, really, really tough with this fish. Super hard fight. Fish on and the fish are crashing out there as well. Woohoo! Still kicking off first morning. Absolutely bang. Look at that for a scaly banger. Yeah, I hold on to that there. Very happy with that. Let's get this day on. Gorgeous 33 pounder. Look at this fat little peach. So happy. <laughs> Welcome to our Euro session. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Dynamite Bait's YouTube channel. Get ready for Euro sessions. Look at China, look around the world. Me and Pascal are just queuing up to get on the ferry now. We're going from Portsmouth to CN and then we have between four and five hours drive after that. We're both mad excited to get down the lake. You look like you're dressed for carp fishing, this is Michael. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no, I've literally not even had the chance to get changed. No, no, I can imagine it was absolutely crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, you got to you well. Yeah, all good, excited? mate. Yeah, all excited. It's going to be really cool. Oh, very cool. Big old lake, isn't it? It is very big. Gorgeous. The lake is approximately 14 hectares, which is 34 acres in size and it's just over four and a half hours from Calais. We had a really, really good run. We come down across the top of France and then basically avoided Paris. So we come down to Rowan and then drop down to the venue. The lake bed is mainly sand, gravel and clay. The lake has really good depths and good water sources. It's really close to the river. The stocks are overwhelmingly 30s and 40s with a good number of 50s. A good mixture of commons and mirrors are present with some grass, carp and a few beautiful koi. Is a perfect slow take. Come on, mate. Go from the line. Sorry, babe. You alright, you alright? Oh my god. Yeah. Come on, friend. Here we go. Come on, friend. Here we go. 
Boom! Yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Let in. <laughs> Okay. Number one. Ooh, counting monkey, you know. Early morning wake up call. Cool. It's our first morning here at Lac de Lepinet. What a banger of a low 20 mirror. What a way to wake up. Very happy. <laughs> yes. Good morning. And this don't feel very dreamy. Grass carb. Looks it. If it tries to do Houdini, don't be surprised. I did warn you it might do a Houdini yeah. glass cup for a nan, but you a bit mental. It's a, it's a pretty long one. Woo yes! <laughs> First fish is a grassy. Oh, I'm happy. Huge. Look at the size of that. That's a good length. Not that deep though, so. Yeah, I hold on to that there. You're okay, hold on to Pascal. <laughs> right. Jesus. Oh my. Yeah. Jesus. It'll try and kick out of the top of the net, and I call it a Houdini. They just go a yeah. bit mental. Calm, you nutter. Yeah, that's a good length. Whew. I might put him in my waist sling. Big grassy. Yeah, this is a mad grassy. Yeah, you weren't hanging around. You can have one healthy one as well, please. What do you reckon? To the lake. Yes. Amazing, lovely water. Uh, arrived about two hours before dark last night, so we just flicked out some singles. Got a few bits and bobs out of the van, like just a typical English overnight, if that makes sense. Just short range. About to go to the supermarket, get a load of supplies for today, and then we're going to really hit it when we come back. Find all the spots, establish some areas. And yeah, we'll see how the week goes. Fish on, and the fish are crashing out there as well. A crazy start. Lovely chunky dark mirror. So had loads of fish in the swim this morning. Michael's had a nice grassy. Pascal's had a cracking mirror. But we are seeing fish everywhere. All of us didn't get here till just a couple of hours before dark. So there's a bit of a pub chuck, a few baits over the top. And then first thing this morning it's roared off with this cracking dark mirror. Well done, Pete. Yeah, first one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Nice one. Let's start the mirror. Dang. This is just our first morning, if I'm completely honest. I haven't even got the rods sorted properly yet. Just sort of threw them out last night, sprinkled a little bit of bait over the top. I haven't even put a marker out yet, just felt for the drop. I have noticed already, though, that the fish seem to be feeding in the sort of silty pockets. A rod that I dropped on shallower gravel felt the drop down, had nothing. As soon as I've moved it into deeper water where they're feeding, off it goes. pound common. Beautiful colours isn't he? Lovely frame. Get the rod back out. Absolutely gorgeous lake. 
and some absolute perlers. Really nice dark mirror, nice common. It's all kicking off first morning. Absolutely banging. Had a really slow take on my right hand rod. Yeah, when you're fishing at this sort of range, over 100 yards, it can be really slow. Just had two beeps, looked out, and the line was just, just slowly picking up across the water. Boom! <laughs> Thank you, babe. There goes our second morning in France. Pascal opened up the trip for us with a lovely mid-20 mirror. Yeah, it's my first fish of this trip. 27 pound mirror carp. Yeah, result on the tiger nut. Buzzing. Yeah, we've got a really hot day ahead of us today, so we're gonna try and make the most of this feeding spell while it's here. Well done, mate. Um, can I just lean this against you? I'll pull them out. We'll just do this here. I think. <laughs> well done, Pete. Nice little twenty to start the morning, huh? Early morning wake-up call. You thought my whistling was the nature, did you? Well, not the third time in the row. The insects here and the uh, noise they create is phenomenal. But look at that. That is absolutely mint, mate. It's beautiful. Well done, Pete. Good morning. So Clive's just rolling his rig out. I'm the rod holder for him. And then he's rowing it out because he can just drop it where he wants, watch it boom down. He can drop a load of bait on it, so he's fishing at pretty long range. He's just had one. It's been a good morning. And he's fishing out to that boy out there. And these boys in this lake are actually connected from one bank to the other on a very, very long piece of rope. So there's nothing actually on the bottom. It's just a cable running along the surface, the full length of the lake. And Clive's been out there with a donkey rod. He's noticed that the areas where the boys are, it's very, very hard. But a lot of bait's gone in from both sides. There's a swim opposite. Stops people fishing into each other's water. But the boys have obviously been a bit of a marker for anglers to bait up on. It was all pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Very good. The big increase in temperature has not helped the fishing. Clive and Pascal move a couple of rods into a shallow bay to their left in an attempt to get a daytime bite. The worrying thing is the temperature is set to get a lot higher later in the week with the possibility of it reaching 44 centigrade. Hello there guys, it's gone really quiet in our main swims. We're dealing with, you know, pushing mid 30 degrees in the temperatures now. It's absolutely baking hot. And the, the lake is, is a circle in shape and in one corner we have this small bay and there's an average depth of about three, four feet. We've been sitting in our main swim this morning every sort of 20 minutes, half hour, just hearing a fish crash. 
didn't want to put too many rods out on the area, too much disturbance. We just brought one rod each, the boat, dropped one out there. There's a lot of shade covering the far margin and there's a lot of overhanging bushes. So we just dropped our rigs tight in, minimal baiting approach. Yeah, hopefully in this heat, it's just finding somewhere nice to get in the shade. Just down in this nice little uh, shady, shady corner. Yeah. Come on, duck, straighten up. Fuck it up. Front first. Yeah. Yeah, what a day it's been. It's been really, really hot. Been suffering, to be honest with you. We've been having it in like the mid 30s. Just been trying to find as much shade as we can. A little bit slow on the fishing as well. Just one fish between us, but yeah, we're gonna keep going as we are. Just cooking up some dinner. It's lovely now, it's nice and cool. Yeah, chilling, bonjour. I've had a very good day. It's been yeah. very hot. But yeah, so absolutely cracking lake. Seems uh, it's very flat, a little bit egg boxy in the middle. It's got lots and lots of snags in the margins, quite deep margins as well. But yeah, the fishing's been a little bit off today. I think it's the temperature's against us. It's lovely for sitting around and having a few cold ciders, but the fishing's not very good. We've tackled a shallow bay that comes off the lake today. We've seen some fish in there, but I think we was a little bit late off the mark. So first thing in the morning, we're gonna pack, uh, See out the morning bite time, wind our rods in and then head round and yeah, see if we can get some more day action. But yeah, so far the trip is going very well. I'm loving it.
a long way out. Fish has been holding ground at range. It's actually, it's moving all the time. It's almost like kicking, and maybe there's something wrong. But I actually think it's just a big fish. <laughs> it's <been> pretty cool. <laughs> Normally, a very good sign when something's moving slowly. Gonna call this one Mr. Angry. A proper fight for a low 30. I thought it was like a big 40 or something, the way it was scrapping out there at long range. I haven't actually heard much in the swim recently. The fish seem like they've moved away to the wind direction. Michael's moved around to the other side there and uh, just really chuffed this morning. I was sitting there thinking about a move and got up at first light to a screamer on the left hand rod. Absolutely solid fish. And we're having a fantastic time at Lepinet. Fantastic mirror to start the day. Get in back. Chuffed about, really chuffed. They got some maize shell out. And some bits of tiger. A bit of a uh, digestive boily. There's loads of it in there. The poo picker. <laughs> what a sweet old dude. A very, very, very happy boy this morning. It's my second fish of our French trip. Yeah, this one was part of a double take. So, literally just slipped this one in the net and my other rod went off on the baited area. Be yeah, unfortunately lost that one at the net, but I don't mind. This is an absolutely cracking fish. It's a perfect way to start our day. We've seen a lot of fish crashing this morning, so yeah, hopefully it's a bit more eventful. It's gonna be a real scorcher today, pushing 40 plus degrees. So yeah, we're gonna try and make the most of this feeding spell while it's here. There you go, really, really tough with this fish. Super hard fight. Time to let him go. this morning <laughs> holding ground a long long way out that last one took line as well you know I'm quite surprised that these fish are doing that but they are I'm trying not to go too mad with them because that rope runs along the middle of the lake and I'm out towards them boys I don't want to put too much pressure on them so they come up in the water you know just ease them back a little bit tease them back and then once they're clear start working it but yeah very very healthy fish these are they like to hold ground and give you a bit of a battle I hope this week we've had some nice fish already but I hope 
where you get one of the chunks that resides in here. I'd like to have a look at one of the big old lumps. Very nice. <laughs> Another very angry mirror. Another 30, huge tail root on it. Great fight. Really, really chuffed with this. I really want to see what one of the monsters in here goes like, you know, because these are scrapping like little demons. Another chunky Lepinet mirror. Come on, loving it. Absolutely having a blast here, loving it. degrees at the minute we're absolutely melting fishing's a bit off so we spent a lot of time preparing our rigs and getting it really set for tonight when it cools down a bit we had a few bites last night which is good so yeah hopefully fingers crossed we have a few more tonight looking for a chunk been an absolute scorching day today we're just pushing seven o'clock in the evening we've got all six of our rods out and yeah still just check the temperature then it's about 38 degrees still it's unbelievable we haven't really known what to do with ourselves today we've been here for a couple of days we've had no no action after 12 o'clock so we just wound in today give them a good feed popped out to the local town and yeah it's just going through the motions There we go, good morning. Steaming out the bivvy, <laughs> middle rod. Yeah, it's well found as we're fishing here. Fishing out right to the middle of the lake. That's where the fish are showing. Yeah, really exciting stuff, fishing at real long range. Just gotta get down on the rod, grab it, walk back, try and move the fish away from that middle rope. And yeah, once we're in open water, it's just a case of uh, just paying them back nice and easy keeping them above any uh, tree stumps or anything in the margin. Pull it, I'm pulling. He's just like not, take, not taking any line, he's just like gone for it, do you know what I mean? A 
Look at that for a proper French banger. Real made up with this one. Yeah, his beast kited really, really hard, went over the top of Pascal's lines. Got caught up in the margin, had to jump in. Pretty epic. But yeah, banging, 32 pounds scaly beast. Very, very good way to start our day. It's gonna be another scorcher today, another 40 degree. Yeah, serious stuff. Had an amazing social last night, We're having a really good time. The weather's unreal and the fishing's amazing as well. We just gotta try and uh, work out how we can get some day bites in the heat, but yeah. <laughs> 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 Proper French banger, big, dark and scaly. Can't ask for much more, can you? It's taken at long range, fishing well over 100 yards here. Dropping the rigs with the boat, buckets and buckets of bait. Yeah, it's very exciting stuff. We're having an absolute mega time. Time to let him go, I think. Very happy with that. Let's get this day on. Pirate Pete. Pirate Pete, yeah. <laughs> you look so natural in there, Pete. It's like oh, second yeah. nature to you. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got one. To camera, to camera. <laughs> oh, calm. The temperature is rising and we're still catching cracking fish like this. Just short of 30 pounds this one. Absolutely amazing fight. Nearly 30 pounds of solid muscle giving us a right scrap in this heat. You can probably see I'm sweating profusely here. But we are absolutely having a fantastic time here. Great social, great food. Great friends, great fishing. What more could you ask for? Hey, good times in the sun. He's gone. Is it? <laughs> yeah, of course. This guy. Well done, Pete. Oh, I proper instinctively feel like jumping in. Don't you? Yeah. Don't it. It. He's just put a fish back. Wait, wait, wait. And the other rod's rattled off. I don't feel as big and it'll be 60 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> you know that. Yeah, I think them washed out baits are helping. Mm. I've got a load on soap now. I think it's getting to that time in the week now, isn't it? Yeah. Where like the, the fish have come in back on the spot. They must have been eating plenty of grub, mustn't they? They can't all be our grub.
Hello. Is that a bit bigger or not? Well, it looked lovely on one side, mate, I will say. <coughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> like you were saying, Mike, if that was caught in England. Absolutely gorgeous 33 pounder. Got up an amazing fight again. Nice long fish, this one. Beautiful scales. It's quite unusual in France to get scaly bangers like this, but when they're still not getting amongst the really big fish that are in here, the hot conditions might be putting a stop to that. Yeah, absolutely cracking scaly fish here. Really loving our time. Plenty of water in each swim. Loads of scaly fish to go at. Loads of big mirrors. A few commons in amongst them. I've even been told that there's a few koi in here, so you really don't know what you're gonna catch. Au revoir. Au revoir, yes. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> well done, Pete. Yeah, slowly going off. <laughs> yeah, boy. I feel 20 times better. I've just had a little dunkers. I was, I won't lie, like cooking out there. Two in really quick succession. We need to get some rods back in the water soon. Absolute bar of gold. The move paid off. I'm sorry about my sarong I'm wearing. It is absolutely scorchy out at the moment. And it's one of the comfiest things I've got. Right, it might be beer o'clock. I am on holiday. Might even have a shower as well. 
crazy times. Fish number three today on. It's been another really hot day, but for some reason they've started to pick up during the day. Well, it's turning into the evening now, probably about six or seven o'clock. And this one's on another slow kite. I keep thinking they're absolutely huge fish and they turn out to be really nice fish at low 30s, most of them. But we're seeing and hearing some absolute chunks out there, so hopefully they'll start picking up. Michael's had a couple this afternoon, which is really good. He's getting on them. Fingers crossed this is a beast. Hey, hot and sweaty, having a fantastic time here. Really, really loving it. It's like a proper summer holiday. Up a 20, this one. They don't have to be 40 or 50 pound when they look like this. Although I've got a funny feeling that these fish are gonna grow onto that. We are really having a fantastic time here. It's awesome. Summer holiday fishing and catching beautiful fish like this. Yee. This is fish number nine for me. Caught some absolutely cracking fish so far. We've still got a couple of nights to go. And we're looking for a great big scaly one. But I'm more than happy with what we've caught so far. I'm more than happy with this. Let's get it back. Yeah? <laughs> well done, Pete. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> If you showed someone a picture of that and went, oh, mate, Jan picked that fish from a car farm yeah. in like the UK, they'd go. This is the third fish from this swim. The move has paid off. I'm well happy with this. It's got to be early 30, 31s, 32s. Mint condition. Right, let's get her back. Happy days. for a naughty 40 we've got it in the shape of this 41 pound 10 ounce bruiser go on babe getting quick isn't it yeah i think everyone gets in <laughs> nice one i love your enthusiasm <laughs> go on lad big strong peak guns <laughs> hey. oh oh hold oh, up oh. hold on oh, one more, hey. one more. Hello, yes. I've got a shadow. <laughs> Last one, quick. More. One more for light, it's got to go down. Yes. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, 
And she's off. Well done, gang. Thank you very much for that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so kind in there. Ah. <laughs> Cheers for all your help, I really appreciate it. Well, they're in here, aren't they? You only experience things once. It's another thing the old deer says. Yes. Yeah, your first experience <laughs> is always your first experience. I was only saying to you yesterday, wasn't I? You've got to make the most of everything. Yep, yep. Cracking little scaly mid double, just rode the rig back out. Yeah, we're having a brilliant time here. Gonna slip this one back. Hopefully, his big brother comes along. <laughs> The move to the shallow bay has finally paid off for Pascal. The result is a chunky mirror. Oh my gosh, so look at this fat little peach. My rod absolutely screamed off. I moved into a little bay last night because I was seeing a lot of showing down this end and it's more my kind of fishing, fishing to features. And yeah, what a result it's been. Fat little 29 pounder. Yes, absolutely mental fight out in the boat. Clive had to row me out. It's been a crazy morning, very happy. So it's the second to last day of our trip now and this is the first day we've had some real carpy weather come in. We've been dealing with 40 degree temperatures, absolutely scorchio weather. And yeah, today we've got a real big southwesterly wind come in, loads of overcast and we're due a little bit of rain as well, so. All the boat and about and all the big boilers and everything else. I've seen some fish down this edge here and I've just got up today and put a little lead on. 
put a little hardened hook bait on, 15mm hardened hook bait. Put a little funnel web bag with some complex T pellets on. Nothing complicated, wanged it on some fish rolling and fizzers and diddly -diddly -diddly. Good afternoon Pete. So that one I'll recast a little bag. On the pellets. They've been oh, all over you. You had a fish earlier as well. Huh? You had another fish earlier, I saw. Looks it. Well done, Pete. The second 40 of the trip. Classic looking French mirror, real bruiser. This one was just cast out on a little funnel web bag. Been seeing a few fish on this wind. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one back. I'm gonna get the rod back out. I'm even gonna bring the, the rods back from range. Put them on little bags on the wind. Let's get this back and see if we can catch one more before we go. Nice one, Pete, well done. Cracking fish, isn't it? Yeah. What we came for. <laughs> the fish have been showing like mad in the last, uh, yeah, since the wind picked up. And my last rod in melted off. Lovely looking mirror. I'm not gonna weigh her, it's too hot for that. I think it's about nine o'clock at night at the moment. It's still some like 27, 28 degrees. Uh, really happy with this one. I'll flick her around, get the other side. And she's still got the barbels on. These are pretty fish. Up for the camera. Ready? Just hooked a fish from real long range. Feels really heavy actually. Very, very slow. Bringing it in now. It's quite strange, it's come towards me quite a bit. And now it's sort of holding ground, so it's gonna play it back slowly. So last night on the lake, I had a crazy week, lots of different weathers. Yeah, we've had some rain, loads of overcast coming today. Big, big, big grey clouds, high winds. Yeah, it's just all settled down in the evening. Oh. Yes. Common. <laughs> it's the last night of our trip in France. It's my first common of the trip, just over 20 pounds. Yeah, buzzing. Mint, mint fish on the right hand rod, very, very long range. Gonna slip him back, row it back out. Yeah, it's been an excellent time. Yeah, buzzing. Double tiger on the hair and a couple of handfuls of tigers over the top. Yeah, pucker. We've seen a lot of bigger fish showing. This is probably the smallest one we've had this trip. But you can't help what you catch. They love them all the same. They're all very nice. So there you go, guys. That's our France trip drawn to an end. It's been an absolutely amazing trip. Really struggled at the start of the week. We had a scorching weather. But yeah, it's taken a bit of a turn and the fish has started coming. Oh my God, <laughs> there you go, Pascal's comments just run away. <laughs> On you now, mate.
a scale one to make like